Hey, welcome everyone. I'm Jay Hood Jackson with a look at what's making news today in Saratoga, Warren, and Washington counties. Well, in our lead story, the Ronald McDonald Fashion Show was held at the Saratoga Race Course today. The event brought out a who's who of Saratoga for a great cause. All the proceeds went to supporting the building of a new Ronald McDonald House. Saratoga trunk owner and Look Today contributor Natalie Sillery talked about the event. This is the 16th annual Ronald McDonald House Charities event, and they're located down in South Lake Avenue in Albany, and we're raising money, and over the course of our 16 shows, actually 18, but we only made it an annual after the first two, we are on our third house, so no family ever gets turned away, and we have far surpassed raising a million dollars just from doing this fashion show. I'm How about that hat? Attendees, by the way, were treated to some amazing fashion, a great lunch, and were given the ability to support a great cause. And everyone here at Look Media really wants to congratulate Natalie for pulling off yet another spectacular event. A former Saratoga County deputy could face 40 years in prison. Charles Fuller is facing at least five years in prison after attempting to aid and abet the possession with intent to distribute a controlled substance. Fuller admitted accepting a $5,000 payment to escort a drug dealer from Albany to Queensbury. Fuller admitted accepting a $5,000 payment to escort a drug dealer from Albany to Queensbury. Well, also in the news, Ed Louie was at the track signing his new book yesterday. The book, entitled A Wild Ride, Bears, Babes, and Marketing to the Max, was on display. Ed Louie, who owns the marketing firm, Ed Louie Associates, told Look News why he wrote the book. Well, it's been a long time in coming. I've walked around for years with the stories I had, telling friends what it was all about. And, and proceeds from the signing benefited one of his great causes, the Double H Rants. On a personal note, I've known Ed for over 30 years. He's a great marketer, great PR guy, great guy, and he deserves all this credit. All right, do you take your time enjoying your ice cream? Then what I'm about to tell you is not for you. Stewart's held their annual ice cream eating contest at the track. 10 participants in each age group had to consume a pint of Philly vanilla in the fastest time possible. The winner amongst the adults polished off a whole pint in just 37 seconds. Well, still to come, with outdoor activity comes the risk for a tick bite. Dr. Dean Lemire from Ellis Medicine is here to discuss the warning signs of Lyme disease. Plus, Steve Carlton is here for a weekly look at finance. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea or join us for an interview, give us a call on the hotline, 798-8000.